All right, this was a 25 minute video that I edited down to about four minutes. Finally got some good sun so I could do a full shakedown on this Renogy 100 watt solar suitcase. And what I'm doing here is I'm showing you the solar charger that I'm using. And I like this one from All Powers. It's a 20 amp version because you can adjust the bulk voltage up to where you need it. I'm checking the current. And then I unplugged the solar input to check the VOC, voltage operating current. 19.46, kind of low. And while I was pulling it out, my little volt ammeter that I used to watch current freaking bit the farm. <laughs> Not happy about that. So I pulled the fuse, did everything. Yep, I popped it. But I still got current coming through, which is good. And I Verify that with my Unity clamp meter. So now I'm out at the Renogy solar suitcase checking the left panel. And check this out. Got 9.55 volts on the left panel. And when you're testing, polarity doesn't matter with these multimeters. And check this out. Got 9.84 volts on the right panel. Right, left, you know, whatever. It's quite a bit of difference there, and they're wired in series. So I looked at the panels, like, eh, was one side got like a mark on it or a bird strike. And I said, well, I'm going to check the VOC at the source. Again, polarity doesn't matter. Check that out. 19.36 volts in the Renogy sticker states 21.6. That's a 2.24 volt difference between you know what the VOC is stamped and what you actually read it with a true RMS multimeter so I took my Uxel 12 volt 50 watt panel out and decided to check its VOC and its VOC was 21.6 on the sticker on the back side and hooked in my Fluke 17 true RMS multimeter check the voltage and 21.03 volts. Hmm. All right, so a little bit frustrated. Decided that check the actual no kidding current off the Renogy panel. I got and I came up with 4.34 amps with both panels operating in series. Disconnected. Hooked in the 50 watt panel, so you you know deduct, deduct it by one half, and the current was 2.03 amps. So the Renogy was actually outputting more overall than that 50 watt you know if you double the power so I'm scratching my head yeah whatever so this solar suitcase came with this battery charging cable MC4 connector so you clip them onto the battery posts and plug the MC4 in the back of the solar panel it comes with a 10 amp fuse so I hooked it up and just wanted to check the voltage I can tell you right now, I don't recommend doing this, hooking this solar panel direct to battery. You can do it, but you got to watch the, that the volts don't go up too high, because that thing will cook your battery. So I just packed everything back up and put it back in this little baggie. I'm not going to be using that. Like I said, don't recommend it. So here's the conclusions that I came up with. Uh, they're wired in series. I expected that. There are real diodes back there. Nice, nicely made junction box. The voltage dif difference between the left and the right is just, that's crazy. 0.29 volt variance. Rate of VOC is 2.24 <laughs> volts low. You know, overall, I think it'll be okay, but I'm still kind of upset that I blew up my volt and the app meter. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.